Oh no, oh no. Guess what I just did. Holy crow, holy crow. Wow, wow, wow. Stay tuned everybody. I gotta go home and get something. And I gotta come back and get something. So uh, stay tuned if you're watching my channel. And Corvette Z06 with the tour up front end. Oh my gosh. You won't believe what just played out here. Oh my gosh, I, I, I can't even find words to speak. I mean, this is beyond believable of what I finally pulled off. Wow. And, I mean, just, it's the car gods. I know, and watch my channel. I'll be eating my words, won't I? I mean, here's the Corvette Z06. Just picked this thing up and truly love this car. And not showing it or anything going off the car and really not fixated on buying anything by any means. But of course my one of my great sales guys decides to give me a call and share with me he's got something special at his dealership. And what's so incredible is I've always have had a goal. A goal of getting a Ram Chair X for about 80 grand that's well optioned out, not a real stripped out, high mileage car. And, you know, zing, you know, bing, bam, boom. What's played out? Yeah, what's played out? Oh, geez, just incredible. And what's just played out? So, yeah, am I going home? I gotta go home. And But here's the conditions. Conditions are, I gotta get the, uh, the smoke show in place of the, uh, the Ram TRX. So the kid, the kid's kind of a little leery, a little hesitant. I mean, surely a kid is like, Dad, I don't know. I'm like, are you kidding me? We can get rid of the Dodge Challenger smoke show for a Ram TRX truck? And the great news is, the truck deal has nothing to do with my daughter anymore. So, for my wife and others, they felt like my daughter having this car in her name was a disservice. It was not really the best of conversations. And, you know, I was like, yeah, but it's helped helping my kid build credit but at the same time um, other views other ideas don't support this and so here's the ball game this deal has nothing to do with my kid i just got that car out of my daughter's name and for some watching me i'm sure would be like yeah but you know that was probably a good thing for help her building her credit hey you're preaching to the choir man i get all that so for me you know um that's no longer the equation of uh, others thinking I'm getting my daughter indebted up to her eyeballs of uh, buying things. So there's the good news on that, which that's that's the only way this deal could play out. I finally figured out how to make this deal work because if you're watching my channel, I've been more on the page, I'd have to probably give up the Jeep Grand Wagoneer, which I'm gonna tell you straight up, that just would be a major blowout in my relationship. If my, if my, if my wife, yeah, my mother, if my wife, uh, saw that I got rid of that Grand Wagoneer for yet another vehicle that took away in her eyes her vehicle she she would just be like this is beyond acceptable and it would be crossing that bridge if somebody asked me it's like man how does your wife deal with this right yeah it's challenging so for my wife it would probably be like yeah so anyways the good news is I'm not doing that and I never really felt good about doing that so the real deal is but I feel like, hey, let the smoke show go. It doesn't get driven a lot. If you're watching my channel, I talk about it all the time. My kid drives that Mustang GT. She just loves that car. She loves the Camaro. And, and so if you're watching the videos, you'll see. She kind of had a, that kind of back and forth, like, well, I don't know. And I kind of get all that. I mean, I understand her attachment to that car. I get all that. Here's the Z06. And, just loves to get up the road. And so anyway, so without me having that smoke show in the equation, I'm not so sure this deal would have played out the way it played out. And the thing is, there is no way I'm just going to add another car in the fleet of cars that I already have. Here's the third gear. You're watching me over here. So get the road here, trying to make everything work. And it's not that easy sometimes. All right, we're now in the car with the uh, getting down the road. Good news is this car, no codes, no issues. Car's clean. Wasn't for that front splitter getting damaged. This car really, really would be a great car. Um, 
without any damage getting his car delivered to me. I mean, it would have been really, in so many ways, a flawless vehicle. So, yes, yeah, a shame that the splitter got damaged, and uh, that'll be the next project in this car. But the good news is, the car, you know, thank goodness, the car is not showing up possible issues, possible problems. And for a Corvette, who he knows has a Corvette? For a nine year old Corvette with low mileage, um, that's a good, bad thing. And the bad thing is, typically, these cars sitting too much can sometimes have more issues than cars being driven more. So now I'm going to head on home, and already the day is passing us, but tomorrow is heavy rains, and I just would rather get the truck this evening and put it to bed. So I got to get it, I got to skittle scattle on home, grab the smoke show. I wanted the kid, I really wanted my daughter to bring this uh, smoke show up to the dealership and have the Ram TRX experience of driving it home, but she just was, didn't want to do it. She's already been out in the field all day today and driving. And she was just like, I just really don't feel like doing that. And I'm like, it's good. She was at the gym. But it's incredible. I called her at the gym. And because she was working out. Which that's one of her favorite things she likes to do. And I'm and I'm like, hey, guess what? Get your smoke show. And really, not embellishing here. She's like, well, I don't know if I want to give it up. I'm like, but you can give it up for a Ram TRX. And she's like, yeah, but I don't know. I'm like, what do you mean you don't know? She's like, well... Am I going to go drive it? I'm like, of course you're going to drive it. Yes. We just did a whole video of me driving the truck. That's kind of the idea here. So then she's kind of like, well, all right. And I'm like, you got we have a Dodge Challenger Red Eye. It's six in the barn all the time. Barely driven. If you really want to drive that, you can drive it. But those cars there, really what's unfortunate on these Mopar products is it's the concern of the vehicle being stolen. So she gets all that, so she feels guilty of driving it and parking it somewhere where it's going to get stolen. So that's the uh, real story. Oh, somebody's calling me. Oh, this is getting out of control, man. So I'm driving back to the dealership. Why? Because the kid now is driving the car to the dealership. I'm like, I thought you said you didn't want to drive the car dealership. So now, I think the kid, I think it's setting in. I think the kid's thinking, wow, wow, wait a second. Dad just got a Ram TRX. You mean I can drive that home, Dad? Yeah, you can drive that home. I don't have a problem with that. Come on, bring it on up. So we're heading back to dealership in the Z06, having some free-spirited fun in this thing. This thing is potent, beyond yeah, potent, to get yet another freaking vehicle. Oh, my gosh. Yikes. Yeah. Yeah. How'd this all play out? Wow. Oh, I'm back. I'm back. Now what am I waiting for? Waiting for the kid. Where's my Ram TRX? Where is the showpiece? Yeah, is that what I'm doing? Is that what I'm doing? Yikes. So, here it is. It's in the shop. And so, for the record... All the cool stuff goes to the shop because otherwise people want to steal it. So yeah, if you want to, if we want to get it out. That's fine. My daughter's coming up right now, and I don't know where Mo is. But we got the 30-day tags on. She's all cleaned up. Looks good. I think this one looks right. It took a long time to get to this point. You have no idea how many times I tried to get this purchase one of these trucks, and it's never played out. And here it is. Cool. Hey, here we are. What am I doing now? What am I doing now? We've got the Ram TRX. The deal has gone down. The deal. How many times have I tried to buy a Ram TRX? Anybody watching my channel knows many, many times, and I sincerely have felt so many times that, eh, it ain't worth it. But the deal has gone down. I am now officially the owner of a freshly used 2021 Ram TRX Level 2 that has like 21,000 miles on it. And it has a little bit of exhaust on it, I believe. But anyways, if anyone watched my channel, I finally, finally made it all go down on the Ram TRX deal. And here he is. This gentleman here probably is going to go over here and try to get it up to the front. So stay tuned for more adventures of Ram TRX. Uh oh. Uh oh. Here's the thing. The Hellcat motor, the TRX is done. They're putting the high output in line. Hurricane. Hurricane motor, right? 
Me personally, I'll take a Hellcat over a Scat Pack any day of the week. Okay. Okay, so, this makes me feel this better. This is like about... a better deal all around. Okay. You get a truck, so you can have But this isn't a whole value. This thing should always be worth it. That, that thing over there is going to continue to die. Okay. Okay, I'm excited. Oh I'm my excited. gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. So. Yeah, yeah, I mean, okay, I, here. yeah, and so what I think, so <laughs> my, my position now, is this. this is my truck. Well, it's our truck. It's our my truck. It's truck. in my, you know, you get to drive it, enjoy it, and I bought it because you're excited about it. Yes. Right? Yes. I'm just checking that we're not going to. Right, no, no, that truck there. We're not coming back to buy this a third No, time. we're not going to do that, it's no. Done. We're done. That's what I'm saying. We're done. We have a... I'm just coming to close. Right. We've got two other Mopar cars that are plenty. Yes. You okay. can drive the Super B. I mean, the Gold Rush. You can drive it, but we weren't going to be parking that everywhere. So, yeah, but for the record, uh, they're telling us, they're telling me, my good friend there, the truck's parked in the back shop because it gets stolen the night otherwise. Oh, boy. They ran? Yeah. Yeah. I just really, like, really want So, look at this here. They got a Raptor truck for sale. No, thank you. So, anyways... Um, hey, this is really nice too. Look at this here. Nice Chevy truck. So, yeah, so no, I get it. You, This is a beautiful car. It's a great car. I just had a little sentimental attachment. I I'm get really, it. What, what does Kiefer I'm think? I'm really excited about the truck and I'm going to drive it to my horse. I know not tomorrow. Right, right. But I can drive it to the horse. Yeah, right, of course. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you'll be able to, I mean, here's the thing. You're going to be able to drive a truck when you want to drive a truck. I don't have a problem with that. Yeah, this, though, it's different. Like, I can't. Decide. Right, because this car here is just, eh. But anyway, so here we are. So now, here's the thing. I was talking. Uh, I'm in a Corvette Z06. See this? So here's the kicker. I was telling everybody here at the dealership, let's just push this till tomorrow. Push it tomorrow. They wanted to do a deal today. Wanted to do a deal today. I was like, okay, okay, that's fine. We can do it tomorrow. So here's the kicker. We're now finding out the truck hasn't even been. Good lord, this is like popcorn. Wow, Jesus Christ. Well, good. Well, are you okay? So, so now we're finding out. So this is the story of this truck. Get this. This truck. I mean, I can't keep track. I can't tell everybody. Here's the ball game. So a guy came in today to service that truck. And he ended up buying a. And he ended up. Oh, is that what he... No, 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 no. Okay, like so so a guy that bought this Ram... What year truck is that? No, it's a 21. I know, it's me too. So it's a 21 truck. So anyways, the guy bought the truck from here originally. So he came to the dealership today to get it serviced. Apparently, they convinced him to sell it to the dealership. And then I just bought it. So this truck even, never even hit the market. That's how fast this went down. So but now we're finding out that the truck never has actually been gone over and serviced. And so now the, the GM sales manager is telling me, the used sales manager is telling me, hey man, you gotta bring this thing, or you gotta leave it here tonight. I'm like, what? We just, I, I'm like, look, we'll just bring it back tomorrow. So we'll get the, the, the yeehaw, zippity doo dah tonight of getting the truck, get it home, but we're gonna bring it back tomorrow and have to really drop it off to have it get it serviced, but whatever, uh, it's all good. So here. I never so showed this video. I erased this video of me driving this truck. Now, for me, I don't think this looks as exciting as that black truck. I black is my favorite color. So this is what I looked at, um, like like two weeks ago, whenever the date was, and I drove it and I had fun, but it's too much money. This truck basically is like 16, 17 grand more than the truck that I just bought. So I just, and it's not even a level two um, truck. It's a level one. So I just couldn't get excited. Uh-oh, here comes somebody, here he comes. Here comes Mo showing us how the Ram TRX is supposed to be driven. Look, there it is. See, I just think that the, the black, yeah, I mean, come on. I mean, anybody want to chill? You mean, you're disappointed you're getting rid of your Dodge Challenger? Look at that, look at this thing, wow. Is that just My new badass? Truck. There it is. Yay. Yeah. Look at that. Wow. Goodness gracious. Would you buy one? Yeah. <laughs> Let me get over my share stuff in my car. Yeah, exactly. Did you put the rear flaps in? All right, let's do that right now. So we're going to get. So that's just crazy. This way. I'm really excited about this. Think about it this yeah. way you get a Porsche cap back exhaust. I know. And then you get I don't a cold air intake. 
This has that? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, 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 right. Does it not have a cat back exhaust? Well, Mac, Mac and Cheese can help us on that one. Yeah, I know. Mac can help us. It's just already kind of loud. It just seems like that's not the factory yeah. exhaust tips. Is that right or wrong? That's what I was asking. I know. Does it, it, are, no, those no. are the factory exhaust tips? Yeah, they are. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, wow. So, so the story is this guy came in today to get a service. Change. He ended up taking a check back home. Yep. And a guy named Mo called a guy named Iceman. And now he's got a sale. Yep. And this never even hit the market, did it? Nope. Never even went on the, uh, on the, on the website. Okay. All right. So, Mo finally pulled off what I've been wanting, which which is a really nice Ram TRX price right. I mean, have I actually really crawled underneath this truck and checked every little fine detail? I mean, this truck is in cherry shape. You look at this yeah, truck. I'm really excited. I'm glad because I'm thinking, wow, I just went the extra mile to get a really cool, really cool truck. And got the 30 day tags for us. Thank you, sir. Oh, we can't put those on tonight because we got to bring it back. What's that? We can't put those on tonight because the truck has to be serviced and inspected. So we got to do a dealer tag. Oh, okay. Which, you know, we just put those in the glove box. Oh, not apparently the GSM there. Well, or... Hey, man, look, that's fine with me. <laughs> right. Yeah, he was adamant, but don't do this or that. Even though we signed all the paperwork, I have no idea. Oh, we need to check. Okay. Okay, we can do that.